My name is Christian. Even though I'm just over 60, I keep myself really busy between my work, family, friends, oh, and tennis. <laughs> I don't have a minute to myself. I run my own consultancy business, and in addition, I teach at the local university. Yeah, I started feeling unwell in 1986. I was always tired and had no energy. Then I had a blood sample, and it revealed that I had a problem with my kidneys. The doctors and nurses gave me lots of information about kidney failure, and I knew that one day I would need dialysis. But honestly, even though I had 10 years to prepare myself, the day I was told that I had to start dialysis was a complete shock. I distinctly remember how much I relied upon the support of my wife, Dominique, and my daughters to help me through those first days. My disease had really become a family affair. Looking back, I realized that I'd been lucky that my nephrologist had spent so much time explaining the dialysis options. I now know that a lot of people are admitted to hospital as an emergency, knowing nothing about end-stage renal disease or dialysis. When they're suddenly told that they have kidney failure, their life simply collapses. They feel so unwell and so emotionally overwhelmed, they're physically and mentally unable to make any decisions about their dialysis options. Usually, the doctors just have to make the decision for them. But luckily, I wasn't like these poor people and had been given time to prepare. So, how did I choose which dialysis option was right for me? Actually, the decision was pretty straightforward. I had a choice. If I decided to choose to have hemodialysis three times a week in hospital, I had to realize that I had no control over my treatment and so I would need to dramatically alter my whole way of living. Or I could alternatively choose to take care of myself and organize my life around my work and family and not be dictated to by my illness. To do this meant I had to have my dialysis at home. I chose to have automated peritoneal dialysis, or APD as it's called, at home. I connected myself to a dialysis machine in the evening and dialyzed overnight from 8 p.m. until the morning. I then disconnected, and that was it. I was free for the day. During the day, the machine was hidden in a cupboard in our bedroom, so at first glance, you couldn't tell that anyone was on dialysis or was even ill. From the first day I started dialysis, I felt a lot better. My tiredness had gone, and I felt full of energy again. It made me feel more positive about life and motivated me to take more care of my health and get even fitter than I had been previously. I also wanted to be as healthy as possible, so I'd be a good candidate for the transplant list. I really believe that if you have a chance to get a kidney, you need to prove that you deserve it. I was on APD for three years, and during that time I had no complications whatsoever. On Friday the 20th of April 1999, about 6 o'clock, the telephone rang. It was the hospital telling me they potentially had a kidney for me. It was a nervous time while they cross-matched the kidney. But it was good news. The kidney was mine. After a five-hour operation, I came out with my new kidney. Eleven years on, and I'm still doing really well. And I'm in top form. Every morning, I take my medication. It's just part of my life. It's so much part of my routine, I can't imagine starting the day without them. In my mind, I'm not cured but I'm still a renal patient who's living at 100%.